What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another review of players. So we're going to be taking a look at the player of the week on Chord Stars. Now these are previous cards that have been released and they are now being re-released. So there's five days left on this at time of recording. So five days from now this video will be going up around 8pm, hopefully on the Friday night. So we're going to just take a quick look through some of these cards. There is about 22 cards in total. I've already spun for this and I got Rashford on my main account. It was a free spin. Um, Rashford, this card is pretty decent, but we will start from bottom to top in terms of overall rating and where I put them on my list of how they are going to be effective for you. So a lot of the time now that we're going to see until eFootball 2024, we are going to be getting re-released cards, re-released legends, re-released um, epics, re-released player of the weeks rolled into this as a second chance for you to get them. Obviously, all these players have a brand new contract, so that's probably the biggest selling point of them, especially now that they're doing away with the team playstyle proficiency, and standard cards will probably get a little bit of a change as well, right? But we have a couple of unique players in here, right? So we do have a Kylian Mbappe, 97 overall. This guy is an absolute beast. Um, these cards are from the 1st of December 2022. You can see this card here as a whole playing midfielder if you want to play him there. Now, what's interesting about this Mbappe um, just as I hide my screen here for a sec, is that you will see that he can play AMF or SS, right? So he's just a center forward. The whole player is going to activate, obviously, with the left mid or right mid, if you want to play him that route. But it is a bit of a pity that he can't play AMF, right? 93 speed, 90 acceleration, 86 balance. And what makes this card key is the fact that he's got 90 dribble and 90 awareness, 88 finishing and 87 tight possession. We've talked about the player form boost that cards get. Mbappe does have unwavering form, he does have drib uh, dribbling skills such as double touch, chip shot control for the finishing with acrobatic finishing, first time shot, one touch pass. A couple of versions of Mbappe have been boosted in the last update. I would say that this one is probably one of the best ones. Now obviously you do have multiple versions of Mbappe. Um, if you wanted to take a look here, like we also have this player of the week center forward, but it's pretty much the same kind of thing. You're going to just, you know, take a couple of stats here and there. Um, but this card that you're seeing on the screen at the moment on eFootball DB, this card is very similar to it, but he's down as a goal poacher. So if you're playing him as a center forward, you will want goal poacher. I think this Kylian Mbappe is better cutting in and shooting. Um, so yeah, and then obviously you do have his big time card as well, and you have his showtime card. So there is a lot to like about this Mbappe to kick us off if you haven't spun already and you decide to get him. Now, last week there was an Asian Stars young uh, fans choice son. And this guy is really good, but the Asian Stars choice was better, right? So if you missed out on him, I did. I do think you missed out on the best version of him. There's just something about that card that just clicks, right? Very good card as well. He's down as a prolific winger. But I think, again, you're going to play him in that Mbappe role, center forward, leading the line, right? So they are two of the top players that you can get in the pack um, that's down as the like the first pack, right? These four or five players that we have, these six players at the back here, I would say that even Shakiri, he's got some okay stats with standard form. He's got cut behind and turn, acrobatic finishing, first time shot, pinpoint crossing. And of course, he does have Trickster as well. When the AI is controlling him and making runs and stuff like that with the amazing running and the incisive run, a lot of his AI is going to kick into gear, right? But just an average card at this time uh, with the game, I think with eFootball 2024 around the corner, there's going to be a lot of club packs that they released um at launch like they released before with the club packs for Bayern Munich and all the licensed uh, teams right so I'd say they'll do that again to get that kind of early doors crowd coming in with really good versions of cards that you can train up and have them for the whole year right I've got multiple selections that I have on this main profile that are now going out of contract right but yeah these six players even McAllister I would throw him in there just average players because you can't train them up you can't give additional skills to these player of the week cards you can't train them up, you can't reset the progression, you can't do anything with them. And a big part of it now as well that's a bit of a downgrade for these player of the weeks is the fact that their team playstyle proficiency rating of 90, 90, 90. That's going to be done away with. So now the standard cards become even more viable comparing them to these cards. McAllister is an average card as well. Defensively, he's not that good, but attacking, he's good box to box. Enzo kind of goes into that rotation as well. Very similar card, both box to box players. He's super sub and unwavering, so he probably gets the nod for me. Actually, a bit of an underrated gem, this guy. I don't see a lot of people using him. So if you do spin, definitely have a try on him. Rashford, you know what you're getting with Rashford. 90, 90, 90, and three really good stats there. He's kind of like uh, Adriano. That's kind of how he plays. He's not really as good as Adriano, I would say. 
because Adriano's a bit of a bruiser with the AI and stuff, and he's got better finishing. But this card is actually quite an average card if you're going to play him as a centre forward, and you are a good finisher. He's got 75 finishing, which isn't good enough. Now we will talk about these four here. Gavardiel is probably the pick of them. Very fast, very aggressive, even more aggressive than his stats look at here. He's got unwavering form, all the player skills you could possibly want, including heading, man marking interception blocker, area superiority, and fighting spirit, which is a huge one. Left back, he's a monster, but center back, he's even better. I definitely rate this guy. Probably not as good as his best version. Um, these five players here that I would say, right? Chesney, uh, Sais, or Sais. Um, this guy is pretty average, I would say, if you spin him. Kovacic, very, very good as well. Very kind of hidden gemish about him as well. Unwavering form, one-touch pass, way to pass, Marseille turn, everything that you could possibly want. And a couple of defensive stats. So if you do spin him, definitely give him a go. Um, Morata and Arasqueta. These guys are just average. Even though he's on A rating this week, it gives him a little bit of a boost with the super sub. Him and Enzo both have super sub and they both have unwavering form. So I give them a little bit more of a thumbs up than normal. Um, we also have Morata. Again, just an average center forward, lads. He's not going to do much for you compared to the other players that you're used to playing with. If you're starting off and you have the, you know, the, the luxury of um, getting this guy and he's going to improve your squad and you get him for a free spin... Sure, have at it. He's a fairly okay player, but for a 93 rated player, lads, there's better GP players there available, right? So as we go up the list, I suppose we get the more uh, high rated players. We've already covered Mbappe and Son. Now we will cover Bruno and Nessari, uh, Richarlison and Hernandez, right? A lot of people like Hernandez and they like this version of him because of his rapid pace, but he can't play centre back. He can only play left back, right? So his dribbling is pretty decent and all that, but you have to play him defensively as a left back, a left full. That does kind of limit the card a little bit, especially with the fact that he doesn't have unwavering form and the live update rating for all of these cards is off, apart from a couple of the um, players here that we've already looked at, right? Another traditional centre forward, good in the air. If you've missed out on Drogba, Collar, any of those legends that are really good in the air, Morientes, um, he's not a bad player to have with the aerial superiority, heading, double touch, acrobatic finish in a first time shot. Standard form does kill it a little bit. And then, of course, we have Richarlison who falls into that category as well as a centre forward fox in the box. Just an average card, lads. I just don't see much about him. I don't see many people using him. Havertz is the same. We know he's after getting a big uh, money move, but just an average card as well. As an AMF, he's pretty silky. Um, but he doesn't compare with the rest of the whole players that you can get. Gakbo, I think the finish on him is probably apt because he's kind of a bit of a hidden gem as well, right? Unwavering form. He's got some really key stats that you see here. One touch pass, double touch. He's got soul control, long range curler. If you throw on a couple of um, stats on him or skills on him, on his standard card, you can get a Gakbo that really does line up well. And even that he is available, uh, he was available on a nominating contract as well. I think this card is pretty beastly if you play him as a left winger cutting in because he's also got true pass and one touch pass and pinpoint crossing and early crosser. With the height, he can get a lot of headers at the back post as well, right? So that is something to end on. So my picks for this, just to round it up, Son, Mbappe, Hernandez. I would also put Kovacic in there, even though he's quite average. Chesney, just an average goalkeeper. I wouldn't include him. Bruno, we didn't really touch on him. He's down as a right winger. Really good kick and power and stamina. Both wasteful stats in the game with the way the current gameplay is at the moment. So his high rating doesn't really come into it. But yeah, I would say Hernandez, Mbappe, Gakpo, Son. And I would also put Kovacic in there. And I would actually probably put um, Enzo in there as well with Rashford if you're looking for something different with Gabardiel. The rest of them are kind of hit or miss. We will be back, lads. If you want to see any more videos, you know what to do. Keep it locked on the channel. Subscribe. Hit the like button and uh, keep in touch, and I will uh, have some more videos up late later. So hope you enjoyed that one. We'll be back with part two very, very soon, and then we're going to have some more training guides. Peace!